Hi everyone, my name is Riley Wilkinson. I'm a toy and game creator, agent, and inventor. I've been in the toy and game industry for 25 years, and I've worked on hundreds of products for preschoolers, elementary school kids, and families. I've also created the Sneaky Snacky Squirrel Game, and I am here to show you some of my favorite toys and games. And I'd also like to show you what goes into developing a toy and game. And today's theme is food. Everyone loves food. So let's take a look. First off, first on the list, Manhattan Toy. I love what Manhattan Toy is doing lately. Right here, you see this bunny mixer. We've got a wood rabbit. Look at that art, that beautiful painted art on that rabbit. So this mixer, we've got the rabbit pretending to hold the beater, the egg beater. And it looks like we've got a couple of wood eggs in that bowl. There's a fabric flower pouch in the back. And look, we've got some organic milk. They've thought of everything. A little organic milk container. And this next one, so this is the package. Um, you see here, oh, it looks like the egg has either Velcro or something that holds the two halves together. It might be magnets or Velcro so that the preschooler can cut through that egg or break the egg apart, pretend that they're uh, cracking the egg in the bunny's bowl. This one from also from Manhattan Toy. Look at this frog, this frog themed uh, waffle maker. So, so cute. You know, children love to pretend that they're making breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. And when you overlay a character like Manhattan Toy has done with this frog, it makes it even more adorable. And right here, look, the frog's mouth is open and it's almost like the frog is eating breakfast. Let me go back for a second. Look at the little butter pats. This is just so sweet, so cute. Tender Leaf Toys is another company. They do a lot of toys made out of wood. And what I like about this rainbow birthday cake is the fact that you've got a little bit of felt and you've got wood. So that strawberry in the center it looks like it's made of felt on a wooden post. And then all of the candles, they've got what looks like felt uh, for the flickering flames. Flickering flame felt. 14 piece set from Tender Leaf Toys. The palette is also really attractive. The orange and that magenta, or that the pink, I think it's more like a pink, that green. They're not simple primary colors, they're a little I don't know, they're a little more, um, I don't know, they look tasty, a little more vintage, kind of 70s in a way. Okay, this, I found this on, I don't know if I found it on Pinterest or Etsy or something. This is from Alice Apple. I believe these are printables. Look at the palette. Look at the orange. Look at that hot pink in the back. This pretend play printable set. So I think what this is, is the parent prints out from the PDF, lots of P consonants in my chatting today. You print out these food packages, tape them together or glue them together, and you've got sort of a DIY pretend play food packaging set. I mean, look at the peppercorns in the upper right. These graphics, the art on these packages, they're very kind of pop art very geometric. I love the typography. And I'm just in love with that peppercorn shaker in the upper right, that pink and brown. It's a good color combo. All right, Kid Robot. They have come out with this group of food like packages. There's like, a, I think I saw like a Cheeto, some sort of cheddar cheese puff character plush. This one, first of all, who doesn't love these carnival cookies? I think a child would go berserk if they got this as a gift because you've got a face, 
you know what I always say, maybe you don't know, but I'm going to say it, put a face on anything and it becomes a character. And Kid Robot has put a face on this carnival cookie bag. Looks like there's a um, clear poly window on the front of this so you can see in and look at all of those little animal cracker characters with the dots and the eyes. I want to hug this, not eat this. I want to hug this and it's just so super cute. Looks like the animal crackers even have little googly eyes on them. So yes, food, food, food. Look at them. Oh, you know, they're not googly eyes. They're embroidered. We've got an elephant, a seal. I see a dinosaur in the upper right. Oh, and that color palette. So great. So I'm going to show you some pitches. These are product concepts that I've worked on with our artists at Lola Rogers Studio. We've come up with a number of concepts that mash up pretend play and food. And I want you to look at this one. This is Erica Root, her picnic in the park. First of all, her illustration style, it's just so fantastic. She's working on a couple of books right now. But this pretend play set is jam packed with a Adora bubble components. We've got those cups in the upper left with the stars and the rainbows. We've got, looks like a real smorgasbord of food items. We've got sushi in the lower left. We have desserts over on the right. The plates are rainbow and spotted. And that picnic bag in the upper right with the peanut butter jar and the jelly jar. When I look at a product pitch like this, I think, okay, as a product developer, I could make a number of products from this concept. Just the bag, maybe just the cups, maybe a couple of SKUs. I could create maybe bagels and locks as one toy and then sushi and chopsticks as another one. I mean, even look at the blanket, clear everything off this blanket and just look at that blanket, those rainbows and those pom-poms. I love this because it says so much. It's fully illustrated. And oh, she's even given it a little tagline. A bright, fun playset for little foodies to imagine and role play. So super cute. I think a toy pitch like this could get an artist all sorts of work, picture book work, stickers, stationery, home decor. I mean, look at that blanket. Who wouldn't want that draped over their sofa or settee? Love, love seats, a tea. Okay, Kay Wolfersberger, I have a couple here from her. This is the Bear Diner Pretend Play set. Her idea here, when she and I were talking about this, we were talking about this hamburger bun with ears. So look on the left here, the hamburger bun top has ears. And then on the right, the piece of toast has a bear's face on it. And let's take a look at the full set. Over on the left, we have a little uh, check. We have a menu. Oh, there's so much here. On the far right, this cake. Look, we've got a bumblebee on the cake. We've got little sort of honeycomb shapes right below it. I think this is my favorite part of her concept here. These mix and match, oh, cub cakes. I didn't even notice that before. They're cub cakes, not cupcakes so cute and in the center here that vase that sort of tree branch vase how cute i could see that even like as a paper mache activity kit for a child again this product pitch there's so much here kate does a really good job of packing in so many ideas that really inspire me as a product developer to think, okay, what, could I make something out of wood? That Could that cake be made out of wood? Could those sand, sandwich fixins be made out of felt or even paper? I just love this. I also really love seeing a short little tagline on a pitch, like what she's written here on the left, roaring fun pretend play, and she's put her name on it. I just, I could stare at this all day, but... You know, you don't have all day. All right, Trina DL 
in the UK, Trina and I have been working on a couple of games, and this pretend playset, I think this is really unique, really special, because it's very sort of, it's a mix of old world and classic play pattern. Again, food, tea, birthday cakes, um, snacks, all great themes for preschool toys. The cash register on the right, I, I don't even know what to say. I love it. I love the pattern. I love the fact that it's got these pink buttons. It reminds me of one of my favorite preschool toys back in the what, 80s. This Fisher Price cash register. Oh my gosh, I loved it. It had these coins that would kind of go down this slide. But the other thing about Trina is she's worked in even her own illustration style that might not become part of a product. Like on the left there, that tray with all of those hand-drawn jars, that could become a product, that could become an illustration. And look, above English Tea Room, she has said this could have sound. This could be an English tea room set with sound. So on the far right, that gramophone, that could have some sort of digital audio component to it, or it could just be completely analog. I don't think I've seen a gramophone lately. That would be such a fresh take on a pretend play musical toy. Look at this, it looks like dessert, this whole set. Oh, and she's saying in the lower right, additional sets could be a French cafe, a Viennese coffee house. And I love what she's listed under that cash register, that this set helps children develop motor skills, etiquette, and hospitality. <laughs> That's great, I didn't notice that until now. All right, this one by Jenny Miriam. I think I called this recently the leaning tower of leaning tower of sushi, but look at this. Look how vibrant this is. This bento stack playset. First of all, it looks like a house. All these it's almost like little rooms with these food characters in them with all these cute little expressions. There's so much jam packed here. I could see a number of products being made from this idea. Look in the upper right. The little dim sum, like the little, whatever those are, those little um, treats, she's suggesting that they could make noise. There's, let's see here, soy sauce containers that are shaped like fish on the right. You squeeze them and sort of maybe like a, like a rubber, like a plastic soy sauce piece comes out of their mouth. Right below that, we have those bowls. One looks sleepy, one looks just happy. I love everything about this. The, the palette, that bright red palette, and that sort of greenish, I don't want to call it aqua, but that combo, that green and that red, really vibrant. This could be just the bento boxes with a couple of characters. It could be just the characters as a product. Looks like we've got on the left side extended, extending chopsticks that chase candy. Jenny just has such, so many great ideas, and I love what she's done here uh, with this toy pitch. Beautiful illustration style and so creative. So there we go. I just shared with you a number of toys that I love right now for preschoolers. And the pitches you saw are concepts that artists and I are working on to share with companies. A lot of what I shared with you is very art driven, very beautiful, and could become the kind of toy that a parent would keep for many, many years. If you'd like to learn more and see how you could create toys and games, I invite you to take my course. It's called My Toy Pitch, and until then, I will see you in another video where I will show, share more and more of what I love. I hope you found this inspiring. Bye.